Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. Uh, oh, I have lost my chat box. As the obvious, let us continue on from where we last left off. So we've cleared out the entirety of the Balkans, and we're pushing our way now into uh, Ukraine. It's doing... We're doing pretty well. This area seems to be definitely less defended than the... Uh... Why is... Mexico! Why are you sending volunteers to the International? You're an American puppet state. Are you okay? Do you understand your own ideological situation going on? I, I don't know. Why are you over here and not... Do these railroads not connect? I mean, they don't seem very happy with this. Unable to find valid path to target. Fine, I guess we'll send, uh, we'll send two of you over to Brown Army, and I guess we'll keep you with Blue for the time being. I mean, we are making our way towards Arzen. Slowly, slowly but surely, it, it, it's coming along. We've got Kiev up here. I mean, I don't really see, like, a great place to do any kind of encirclements, though. Mostly because Russia just has so many goddamn... Like, how many units does Russia have right now? They have even more now than they did before the encirclement was crushed. They probably have about 300 divisions right now. With with 7 million manpower. How many factories they got? 306 military factories? Holy shit, man. Oh my lord. So Russia. So Russia is terrifying. Not down for Rostov and Circle the Coxes. Yeah, that's probably our best bet is to go from here down to uh, Arkashtan. But Russia is just like they're insanely powerful. You know, I'm actually going to bring one army out like this. We're going to actually bring purple down a little bit more. I have purple would be very concentrated to push their way towards Arzen. Okay, bring our units over. How are you guys doing? I mean, not that great either. Where's our air force? Our air force, I think, was on purple. But purple, they have so many planes too. Let's send all of our planes over to brown. Okay. Give me the guns here. Technology. We'll go for recon companies, please, and thank you. Okay, we're still holding this line. The rest of our units, they do seem like they're holding on all right. Which I'm happy to see. You're taking attrition. What's your attrition from? Just the state. Is it just a high res... 96% resistance strength. Okay, that's pretty bad. Oh, the Emperor died! Sad news befalls us this day. Our beloved Sultan Abedid II has suffered a heart attack and passed on from this world. Funeral arrangements have already been organized and naturally uh, shall benefit uh, his stature of our British as the Caliph al Islam. As the news spreads, the streets are filled with the sound of anguish for the Kaiser of the Rum. I uh, was seen as a cheerless figure for the people, a fitting figurehead leader empire. Okay. I don't think I've... Okay, we got, I'm in the... Okay, I have seen this man before. War support minus 5%, but I mean... Look at power gain construction speed plus 10% is kind of okay, I guess. Why don't we have no supplies? Oh, because this actually isn't connected by rail. I see. Uh, so that is of high priority, please. How long will this take you? August? Okay, so like a few days. But if we lose this province... Now, see, the thing is, is now that I am the one that's been encircled. <laughs> okay, uh, build this immediately. How long did that take? 24 September? Okay, we got like one month. So... So, I've made a, a boo-boo. I made an oopsie. We need to, uh... I mean, if we can take Rostov, we can get ourselves a port. 
Is this connected to other supply lines? It is. See if we can maybe pull you back. Stretch you out like this. Stretch brown, a black army down here as well. Hey, okay, America joined the Entente. That's that's something for sure. The ninety percent Prince of Federation's completely collapsed. So, <laughs> so. But now you're not being built because this province is under attack. But even then, like, we wouldn't be able to take Rostov. I need to build a port probably in Mariupol, and then build a rail, uh, a rail line out. That's probably our best bet? Okay, don't be attacking. Just move to these other provinces, please. This is a, not an insignificant chunk of my army. I can't really afford to lose this. Okay. Bring our forces down here. Modern oil processing. That's cool. I love oil. I mean, you have supplies. I'm not too sure where you're getting your supplies from, but you have some. Building our rail lines. Just don't worry about this city, okay? Okay, we're holding on. We're holding on. Kind of. Depending on your definition of holding on, we're holding on. Stop being on the border with National France. It's not that important, please. Um, Can't take anything here. Get our way over to uh, the 43 heavy tank. So yeah, now you're all in the Entente. I need more of you to be useful to me. We need to pull you back. Fight you guys here. Um, so we might need to do a, a strategic evacuation once this port is done being built. If it gets done being built. I think they're all fucking dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No, they're gonna take my... I'm building a port there, you jackasses. Oh shit. Well. This has been a strategic blunder. That's going to lead to... Yeah, like... Yeah, no, we're fucked. These guys, these guys are fucked, man. They're not making out of this one alive. They're not making out of this one alive. It's... It's it's more over than it's ever been at all. Okay. India's now at war with... Uh, or Japan's now at war with you. That's, that's cool. Well... Salutes in chat for our brave, our brave soldiers on the Russian front. I mean, this is just like, I, I think Russia is going to win. Like genuinely, I think Russia, there's a naval invasion of our, our, the Japanese are here. Oh shit. <laughs> Well, can I if I delete you, can I get at least some manpower back or something? 80% of manpower. Well, it's better than zero, so I guess we'll hats off my my brave boys. I can't believe the Japanese have invaded fucking Muscat, man. You know, I'm going to I'm going to throw a pool in chat. I don't know how to wait. No, that's how you do a poll. The game ending? No, we're, we're going to do a, a quick poll. Do we have a negotiated peace with Russia? Yes or no?
And then basically we're gonna Russia's gonna leave Western Europe Western Europe to the dogs. <laughs> because how many units are now like we've we went from having about 140 divisions down this we we genuinely lost half of our army. Genuinely half of the army is gone. Which is just fucking bonkers. Okay. Well, let's let's see. How many units are in the Reich's Pact right now? The Reich's Pact has 691 members. Russia alone has half of the entirety of the Reich's Pact. So Ru Russia has half of the entire faction's number. I mean, technically they're also at war with the Entente, but like... I can't see the Americans or the Canadians doing too much to help us against Russia. To be quite honest with you. Like, it, it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Because they're also about the Japanese here. I mean, the Entente... The Entente actually might be stronger than we are. Just because of, just because of the United States. Because America... We have no idea. Anywhere between 85 to 420. The United States might theoretically have the largest army in the world. Yeah, no, it, it's it's a it's a little bonked up. We're we're a little bonkered. Oh, and the British have landed their, their troops in in the Netherlands. So you know what? Uh, with a 67% vote towards yes, the German and the Russian governments have sat together. And Russia, uh, led right now by Alexander Shlipnikov? I, I don't know how you say that. He's, he's basically said, you know what? I never liked Western Europe anyways. So, <laughs> what we're going to do here is we're going to have the peace of Rostov. Actually, no, Rostov probably was bombed in the fighting. So we're gonna have this uh, the piece of let's just find like a small nothing city. This the 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 piece of Riga, sure, why not? I guess that pr probably was also blown up to hell. But basically, Britain, Iberia. Who else is in the international? Hawaii. The, the um, the Swiss to a lesser extent. We got Hawaii in here as well. And that seems good. We're basically going to kick all of them out of the international. Okay? And then Britain is going to form their own faction. Which is done with Iberia. Is it, is it really called Tool Pack? Can I not make can you not make like a better faction name than Toolpack? That's not a real name. Mantle faction, Lee faction. Yeah, no, okay. Lee faction. Create the new Treaty of London. There we go. That that's a real name. We're gonna mark Iberia. We're gonna mark Hawaii. And they're going to. I have to unmark you, I think. Yeah, and then we're going to add you to the Treaty of London. The Swiss... I, we'll, we'll just deal with them elsewhere. So Russia and Germany... we They've they've agreed to make peace. <laughs> Which means that we're no longer at war in, in Eastern Europe. However... All of Ukraine... All of the Baltic Duchy... Is was well, is Finland in the Reichs Pact as well? And all of Finland has been given over to has been given over to Russia. Okay. Aside from that, also I I guess we'll also have you uh which is politics tool here. Russia and is Canada the leader of the Entente still? Yes. We'll have you guys end hostilities. You're still going to be at war with Western Europe, but that's okay. 
Aside from that state management tool, Lithuania, so we want control S, control S, control S, control S. And all of and Belarus has also agreed to transfer control over to uh, Russia. Just to make these borders look a little bit nicer. We decided to We've ceded Bessarabia. We've ceded Mamel. We've also ceded some territory to the Polish. So something like this. Including you here. Can we can I just give Georgia like We're gonna transfer this to Russia? Russia's gonna get this province as well. And I feel like that's how they massacred my boy. Like, Germany was just not... They were not in good standing. Like, in any way, shape, or form. You're actually still at war, technically, with Mexico. So, actually, I need to... Uh... Is Mexico not in the top for some reason? For some reason, they are not. I don't... What? Why? Because America's in the Entente. Don't you join automatically? Anyway, Mexico and Russia are now at peace. You're still going to take uh, Vladivostok, but that's okay. I'm sure an all-powerful Russia has no consequences in the world stage. No, it, yeah. I mean, how many how many Russians died in that war? 10 million? 10 million Russians are dead? Millions of Germans are dead? I, I think the negotiated peace of, of, of Riga... Actually, that's uh, Sevastopol. There we go. The Treaty of Sevastopol, I think that makes sense. Also, it allows this campaign to not last 500 episodes. Which is good for me, because I can't have campaigns lasting a, a million goddamn years. The second Breslita, basically, yes. So you're just you're now the third international. But actually. State management tool. We're just gonna basically annex all. Well, I mean, we already, um... We're just going to switch you over like this. There we go. Because we already annexed Switzerland. We already took over Switzerland. So I think I think this works out just fine. But with that, it's going to be a good time for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not doing a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.